Hi guys, welcome to Random Thoughts Thursday. My name is Maddie Kempf and welcome to my channel. So today is going to be an interview with another awesome barrel racer from BC. Her name is Renee Willis. Some of you are gonna know her. Um, and today I'm gonna share an interview that I had with her and you'll get to know a little bit more about Renee. Also, so you guys know my videos are very candid. Well, my dog was tied up to the end of the trailer and was whining a little bit in some of the videos. So if you hear her in the background, I apologize. I had to do a little convincing to get Renee to agree to this interview. She's quite shy, but I'm really glad that she did decide to go through the interview with me. So I personally really admire Renee for a few reasons. She's very humble. She's extremely hardworking and also very talented. Uh, she has been to the CFR a few times before already and is now kind of on her way working back towards that again. So I think she's someone that you guys need to learn a little bit more about. All right, so I'm here with Renee Willis. Renee, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and what you do for a living? Uh, so I'm born and raised in Princeton, BC. Um, my mom always says that I was riding before I could walk. I think by the time I could hold my head up, dad would take me out galloping with the horses and stuff. And um, I've worked in the service industry for my whole life until just over a year ago. I quit to focus on riding and barrel racing and training. Awesome. The dam is St. Marie Selena, the breeder is Scott and Sean Darnold, and the owner is Renee Wilkes. Yesterday, Renee ran a 16209. Okay, so you qualified for the CFR in the past. How old were you and what horse were you riding? It was uh, 2003 and 04 that I qualified, and so I would have been 15 and 16, and that was on Dandy. Uh, we got him from a local girl in Peachland, Kim Feist, and she let us take him for a week. We took him home, took him to a rodeo and tried him, and we just clicked right away. We won just about everything that year, and then the next year that I had him, we qualified for the CFR. That's awesome. So you have a wicked herd of horses right now. Can you tell me about your main horse and how she became yours? Uh, so the horse I've been running the most this year is Flyer. Um, her registered name is the French Fame. She's by Martha's Frenchman and out of Savory Selena, who's by Dash Fame and out of an Amber Holland mare. Um, we bought her from Bill and Heidi Robinson uh, in OK Falls, BC. They own Wildwood Ranches and they stand Guy's Casanova Cowboy. Uh, Bill bought her mom with her on the side and we went and looked at her as a weanling and then um, bought her as a yearling. So Renee, you've made a lot of really nice horses over the years. What do you look for in a young prospect? Um, quite a few of the horses that I've rode um, have come from mares um, of our own. So they're kind of like third, second generation horses. Um, my roan that I'm running right now, I ran his mom and then granddam too. So he's kind of a special horse to me. Um, the few that I've bought, for some reason, I just seem to get a feeling about a horse. You can't really explain it, but um, in general, I like um, a little bit shorter back, lower hocks, uh, short cannon bone, a little bit lower headset. But I think raising your own, you kind of ride what you get a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. And then the top of later more. Here we go. Two more railroads to go into the Palomino Horse. Good girl. with your horses in the next few years? Well, I think every barrel racer's goal and dream is to make the NFR, but um, 
more short-term goals. I would like to make the CFR on the horse that I trained myself. Um, I'd like to win the year-end for the Canadian Barrel Fraternities and the Super Stakes eventually. Thanks. So if you had some advice for someone that's just starting out pro rodeoing, what would it be? Uh, first of all, I would say don't get caught up in it all. Um, it can be really nerve-wracking going up against the pros every day, but uh, don't be intimidated. Um, make a game plan, uh, ride your horse like you can, and take care of them. Because they're not really meant to do what we do with them. We put them in a little tin can and hurdle down the road and pull them out and make a run on them. So take care of them and enjoy it because they don't last forever. Well, thanks for watching Random Thoughts Thursday, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the interview with Renee Willis. And if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe to my channel.